We're now ready to define our token state. So what will our token state look like? Well, like every state, it will be a Java class implementing the contract state interface. And like every state, it will have a participants field indicating who should be notified when the state is updated as part of a transaction. In our case, we only want the token state's issuer and owner to be notified of any updates. And the token state will also require three fields to store information. Firstly, an issuer field of type party, representing the issuer of the token state. An owner field of type party, representing the party the token state is being issued to and an amount field of type int, representing the quantity of the token the token state represents. All of these fields will be part of the token state's constructor. So let's implement token state now. Let's open up the skeleton token state definition that we've provided. So I'll open that here, it's under main, java, java bootcamp, token state. And our goal is to modify this definition, this state definition, so that the token state meets the design we just laid out. And to guide us in the writing of the uh, token state, we've got a set of state tests available here. So under source, test, Java, Java bootcamp, state tests. And our goal is to uncomment these tests one by one and then modify token state to ensure that the tests pass. And once all the tests pass, then we'll have correctly implemented token state. So there's a few resources you can use to help with these um, tests. So we've provided two example state definitions under Java examples, I am a state. This is a very simple definition of a state, a minimal state. And then I am also a state, which is a much more complex state. So you can take a look at both of these state examples in defining your own state. And we also have resources available online. So if you go to docs.corda.net, under Cord Apps here, under Corda API, you can find the API documentation for all the various parts of a Cord App. So in our case, you might want to look at the API for states and see the various things you can do with states. So we'll leave it up to you. And before moving on to the next section, you should try and um, modify token state so that all the tests pass. Good luck.